Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon in 3 format series. Now today guys, I wanted to do Empoleon because Empoleon is really cool. I got quite a bit of votes for that, so shout out to the people who voted it. If you guys have any um, thoughts of who should be the next Pokemon I cover for the 3 formats, of course it does have to be black and white and under, so I can use it in Standard, Expand, and Legacy. Comment down below who I should use next and who you think would be a good pick and what Pokemon could I use in each, like what version of it, like the VGX, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we're going to be starting off with Empoleon uh, for this next episode. One of the big reasons why is because I did get a sh two secret rare shiny Empoleons in that Plasma Freeze pack open I did of 200 packs. So I was like, all right, Empoleon seems like a great pick. And there's some pretty cool Empoleons we have to work with. So we're going to be playing a standard version using the brand new Empoleon V, which I have yet to look at. And this is going to be my Empoleon V Urshifu list. Um, I actually like this deck quite a bit. I may do a video on it on the main, I'm like its own video, maybe. Uh, but this is what we're going to be doing for the first part. And then, of course, we have um, the two other Empoleons. We're going to have the expanded one. This will probably be the worst of them all. Is going to be the total command one, doing 20 damage for each bench Pokemon. I don't play Skyfield in here because there just is not enough room. Uh, but this list is pretty cool. I'm even playing an Empoleon break in here just to be a little cheeky to go with the theme of the video because why not? Um, this one, again, I think will be the hardest one to make. We'll see how expanded goes. Expanded is a bit of a, uh, bit of a crapshoot right now. There's a lot of degenerate decks. Um, and then finally, we have Empoleon and Legacy, which I think is the best of the decks. Empoleon, Dustnor, and Legacy is arguably one of the best Legacy decks. Um, so yeah, before we get in the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. So you guys are looking to pick up any set codes like Battle Styles, Shiny Fates, Vivid Voltage, Team Up, or if you want to get any of the brand new, uh, you know, V or GX codes, I think the Victini and Garver codes just came out and Card Cabin may have them in stock. So if you guys are looking to pick up those, you can get them over at Card Cabin. And uh, if you get any codes over at Card Cabin, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin. So yeah, big shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out and use code LDF if you get any codes. So the lists are pretty straightforward. Um, this Simpoleon Dust Nord deck I've done a video on. I'm still using the Pichu engine playground, make each player fill their bench up. Um, now, I don't have that many Tropical Beaches. I only have one. This deck is really good with Tropical Beach when you play like four of them. I only have one. Now, because Verbank City is a very popular stadium, I'm going to be still playing a stadium, which is Skyro Bridge, which is kind of the sub filler. I think this is like the second best stadium you could play in this deck um, is Skyro Bridge. Um, so I was like, all right, Skyward Bridge is fine. It gives our Smeargle a free retreater, but also it lets you, like, if you say you start with Piplup or, like, Mr. Mime or something, or Duskull, you can, you know, get Pichu down, and you can Skyward Bridge, move the Piplup or Duskull for free into the, the Pichu, and then go straight for Playground, so... That's why I'm playing Skyward Bridge over Beach again. I don't have that many Beaches. I only have one. I'm trying to get more, don't worry. Um, but... Yeah, Empoleon Dustnor is a very good legacy deck. And of course, that's probably gonna be the best one. I do like the uh, Urshifu Empoleon deck I've got here. Uh, I am testing this out. Uh, Leon's really cool. I'm playing Leon. It does allow your Empoleon uh, to do 130 damage. And then with Leon, you could do uh, 320. So you can one-shot Senescorch and Victini and Reshizard, which are very popular right now. Uh, though I maybe want to play a Dojo in the deck. Um, but yeah, the Urshifu Empoleon is really cool. If you don't know what Empoleon V does, it's Ability Emperize, as long as it's in the active spot. All basic Pokemon on your opponent's side of the board. Um, outside of these and rule boxes and stuff like that, so Zacian and stuff still work, and Adene. Um, they don't have ability. So this will shut off stuff like Jirachi, Galarian Zigzagoon, you know, Mewtwo, Snorlax, which is really cool. And then we have the attack Swirling Slice. We can use Rapid Energy with it to attack for even cheaper. And we can move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. You can chain Empoleons. You can move an energy to an Urshifu to get ready for Rapid Flow. Uh, I'm also playing Coco in the deck to try to build up an Empoleon in one turn. I'm also playing Sinchino to build up a huge hand size. This is good because we do play the double Leon. And the Leon could be clutched to do more damage with Urshifu. I do think this deck probably wants to play a Dojo. I'm probably thinking about the Fan of Waves to be cut uh, for Dojo, but this is what I'm rocking with. But yeah, let's go show off these Empoleon decks. We're going to start things off with this Urshifu one in Standard. Right, getting into our first match with Empoleon here in Standard. We're going to be playing the Empoleon Urshifu deck. Let's see if we can get some Empoleon action going on here. Uh, we get a, uh, Minchino start. Okay, no energy. Hopefully we can draw new energy here so we can utilize something. I'll probably end up getting Urshifu because we have the VMAX. Um, ooh, if I get Charizard. Now we, I wish I started with Empoleon. Because they start with Snorlax and we can shut off Gormandize. Wow. Empoleon's actually going to be good in this matchup. Uh, do we have Coco? We do. We do have most of our energy... Oh, no, we prized two of our Rapid Strikes. Okay, wow. 
We could grab Empoleon now. We will lose one of our Urshifus, which I guess isn't terrible. We're not going to have to do much Rapid Flow, though, but Empoleon's actually good in this matchup. I mean, if we can make do into a switch and an energy, we can actually boss knock out Charmander and then leave this Snorlax unable to use his ability. Like, I just want to put Empoleon in the active spot so this Snorlax doesn't have its ability. That seems good to me. Right? I think that's fine. I wish we started with Empoleon. I wish we had an air balloon or something so we could have went into it here. We could get a Marnie too, potentially. That would be good. If we can get a Marnie here, um, we can go like Marnie, Retreat, Knockout with Empoleon in the active. That would be pretty good. We'll see what happens. We'll see what ends up happening here. I kind of like that. Empoleon could be good against these Snorlaxes, depending on how many my opponent plays. We'll see how it goes though. We get to see three extra cards. All right, just gonna Gormandize for one card. Okay, wow. All right, what do we top deck? Another Rapid Energy. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Uh, we'll make do away the Urshifu. And let's see what we get here. We get another Empoleon. We do get the Marnie, though, which is good. Um, so we are gonna play the Marnie here. And we're just looking for a switching card for the Sinchino. Will we find one? We do. All right. <laughs> My opponent might concede early because we are putting on a bit of pressure with our uh, thing here. Uh, I'm going to hold the hand and just... I'm not going to play the quick ball. I was going to play it and get rid of the energy um, for Coco, but we don't need to because we need energy for next turn. All right, big turn. We Narnie them. We knock out their guy. Charizard's weak to fire. So if we kind of just uh, keep attacking with Empoleon here for a bit, should be chilling because Urshifu VMAX only does 150. So Empoleon actually is kind of our best attacker in this matchup. And uh, hopefully Empoleon can slow their setup down enough for us to win. Ooh, they do play Reshizard. Okay, we have to find find our Leon then to knock that out. I maybe should have quick balled away the fan of waves thinking about it now. I mean, they need so much here to like put pressure on me. Yeah, see, they don't have much. Easy peasy. Um, get rid of the, I don't think we need the fan of waves. Grab Urshifu. We do have Leon in the deck, which is good. Um, I don't really want to Marnie them. We'll make do away the energy, I guess. Okay. All right. Good stuff. I'm going to the fine energy, right? So we're just going to put the, we'll put the balloon there. And we'll just research here, see what we get. See if I can find Leon. No, not yet. Okay. We'll just swirling slice for a knockout. They could flare strike me, though. Um, so we should maybe move the rapid strike energy, in all honesty. Might not be a bad idea. I think we're just going to... Oh, we have energy in our hands. We can just move. We didn't put the air balloon on, though. Okay, let's just put the fire energy on the Urshfu. We'll keep the rapid strike energy on. I mean, they need a lot, and there's another one anyways. They need a lot. They need... They have a four-card hand. They need a welder here to knock me out. They might have it. They might not. I mean, we can literally... Even if they have it, we can just go... Yeah, they don't have it. Okay, let's see if we can try to win this turn. We just need to find our Leon to win the game. We just need to find Leon here, and we can... Walk away with a win against my opponent's uh, Reshizar deck. Nope. No Leon there. We can find one here. Leon one time, bro? No. No chance. No chance. Uh, we could... Hit them with Sinchino. We could strafe them. Or we could just Swirling Slice them and do this. Yeah, let's just do Swirling Slice. We can just Swirling Slice... Hit them for 260 damage. Leave them with a whopping 10 HP left. And we could just put the wrap energy on the other Empoleon. I mean, that can work too. This is kind of neat though. I kind of like how the Empoleons kind of chain, chain each other. This is actually a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Let's see what my opponent does here. Probably game over. We'll see what happens though. Now, let's say bench selling here. The game will be over and we will walk away with a win. Empoleon did its job. They can outrage KO me. Or they can double blaze me. Probably outrage is better if they do get a basic. Okay, they finally found Welder. It looks like they were a turn too late, which is good for us. They were a turn too late. They can finally take out my Empoleon here, but uh, not really going to matter, unfortunately, for my opponent. Okay, they do get a... Okay, they get a second chance to get a Mew, but... I mean, the Empoleon is just kind of bodying them. How do they keep up? How do they keep up? We have <laughs> two more Empoleons for them to go through, plus an Urshifu. And we're KOing this. We could even knock it out with Strafe. We could energy assist it. I think we definitely want to go Empoleon, though. So we have the ability to just 
shut off any shenanigans they try to do. We can just go. Whirling Slice. Take a KO. Put that on there. Then switch. Do our thing. We get three of our prizes. There's a last Rapid Strike Energy. There's a Marnie. And a switch. We could have done Make Do, I guess. But, I mean, whatever. There's, I don't see a point. I think we're winning this regardless of what happens. Okay, there's a Reshizard. If they go into it, so they can try to outrage us. Um, now we can try to dig for Leon. I guess now we should have went... I guess we should have went since, you know, last turn. I didn't expect them to have another Reshizard, though. No cap. I didn't expect a second Reshizard here. Yeah, I didn't expect a second one. Um, but what we can do is we can go... Um, yeah, we're just got the Cinchino here and dig. I might just detonate. Well, if they bench Mew, we can also just win by boss. We don't even have to find Leon yet. We can just win by bossing the Mew up. <laughs> we don't have to play our Leon. There is a reason why I do play the Leon in the deck, though. But we don't even really get to use Leon here because my opponent just kind of... They benched the Mew. If they didn't bench the Mew, we would have had to have dug for Leon. Um, they could stamp me, I guess. They could still stamp me. I'm, maybe I'm speaking too soon. They could still have a reset stamp in their deck. We'll see. There's a quick ball yet. Yeah, doesn't really matter what they do because we have boss. We have boss, so it's, it's GG's. GG's. And Polion doing its thing. Body in the water deck or the fire decks. Fire decks, yeah. yeah. All right, what do they do? GG's, right? GG's? GG's? No, no chance. No reset stamp. No stamp. We could also just dig for Leon. We could go double make do and then Dedene to dig for Leon if we really wanted to. Um, just to just to take that expressive Leon KO. You know? I mean, I kind of want to do the Leon knockout, not going to lie. There's a reason why I play the Leon in the deck. Maybe we'll go for it. Let's see we draw. I mean, sure. Sometimes the game just is like, yo, all right, you want the Leon? Here you go. Have it. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> and all right. See you later there, uh, Rushy's Hard. And there you go. Leon and Polion. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. The Leon's actually kind of busted. I don't know. That was kind of fun. I liked it. I liked it. And Polion's, Polion's a trooper. All right. Here we go with another thing. We do in the coin flip. We're back. We're still in standard uh, with Empoleon. See, we get here. Hey, we got a pretty decent hand. We got the Empoleon Star, which is nice. We got the Minchino. We got a quick ball for. Dene. Good start. Let's see what we're playing against. Anaconda. Bruh. That's a bruh moment. We can beat Anaconda though, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Rapid Flow is pretty good in this matchup. Might as well use Urshifu. We can Marnie them. Marnie's pretty good in this matchup. If we can Marnie them into like a, a handful of energy. You never know. Didn't expect to run into Anaconda though of all decks. Not gonna lie. Didn't expect to be up against Anaconda, but uh, whatever. It's it's winnable. Uh, how much does Silk Cobra have? It has a true tree cost. So, yeah, I don't think they're gonna be able to go into a Gossifleur this turn, unless they have a Switch or an Air Balloon in their hand, which I don't think they do. Nice. We got a free Silk Cobra KO. We're gonna be pretty far ahead. Put that on here. Do we wanna switch? I don't think it matters. So this is Marnie. Hopefully we find what we're looking for. Rapid energy one time. Hey, let's go. We got another one too for next turn. Here we go. Swirling slice knockout. And we Marnie them in hopefully to a bad hand. I don't think they're ha they have any ability. So the Empoleon probably doesn't really matter here too much. Yeah, I don't think they have any abilities that we can kind of take away. There's an air balloon off our prizes. We have Leon we can play, which doesn't really do much. I guess we can Leon like strafe knock them out. Yeah, call for family. So they have no greens or anything, so they could be stuck for a while, and Empoleon could just do its job. I think we're just going to research. We don't really need the Leon in this matchup. Anaconda only has 130 HP. The Leon is just kind of useless. They do have all their Silicobras, though, but they might have prized Anaconda. Oh, there's their Shufu Max. Well, now we can just Rapid Flow them. Yeah, but now we can just go <laughs> retreat into Rapid Flow. Do them dirty. And we can just... Yeah, I don't know. They might concede after this. I would I would concede, bro. It's like we're putting on quite a bit of stress on my opponent here. This is not a good scenario for my opponent to be in, for sure, for sure. I'm not sure about the Fan of Waves, guys. I don't, well, we didn't run any matchups with the Fan of Waves was any, like, very useful. I still think Fan of Waves is a pretty good card, in my opinion, but we just didn't run into a situation where it was that good. We'll just Rapid Flow, take out two of these big boys. We can repower the Urshfu back up with Empoleon. Like, just have a little combo there. They might end up just conceding. Like, we're super far ahead, like... Like, they could one-shot my Urshu, I guess. I could put them back in the game if they one-shot me. But they're down 
all of their Santa Condas almost. They have like one left. So that's like all they have to rely on. And we have a jillion ways we can attack them. So I don't think they're able to win this at this point. I think we're really far ahead in the game right now. There's a Santa Conda. They do find it. Do they have a way to put the Silicopas back? Because if not, we're winning. We'll see if they can knock them out with big sand cannon too. Nope. I think they're close enough. 240. Well, not really close enough. They do lose one of their rods. Let me just go... Retreat. Uh, I don't really want to do make do. I'm just swirling slice kill them. We can't get knocked out next turn. So there's that. We'll just move the energy here. Yeah, we can't get killed next turn. We'll set for another rapid flow. If they try to set up more Silicobras, we'll just rapid flow them again. <laughs> it's just like Empoleon, Urshifu, the little combo, punish them, you know, and there's a call family, and that's game over. Right? No. No, no, it is. No, it is. We can still win. Do a boss, anyways. Insane. The best combo ever. Urshifu and Polion, bro, takes the win here against my opponents. The loss of Flare deck. Yeah, that was a nice little quick game. Polion did his job. There we go. There's some matches where Polion this got to work. I like this deck. Maybe I'll do a video on it. I actually really like this deck quite a bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video on it. All right, let's just move into Expanded. We'll we'll use those three games. It, it, we used Polion quite a bit in those games. We showed it off pretty well. Definitely going to be some changes I want to make to the list. Um, I might do a video on the main channel. And if you guys want me to make a video on that Urshu and Polion deck I just played, let me know. I'm down to a video on it. There are some changes I do want to make to it. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to do something with it. But I do like the deck. It was pretty fun. All right, here we go with the Empoleon in Expanded. We actually got paired against it. looks like a fire deck. I pff, can't make this up, bro. Can't make this up. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't cherry picking, bro. It's the first game. Um, okay, so we'll see how we get going here. We are playing a stage two deck. So anything is possible. There's a mulligan. Yeah, we'll see how this goes in Expanded instead of in Standard. Um, but yeah, you know, I might make a video on that Empoleon Urshfu deck. I do like it a lot. It's actually pretty fun. I might add some dojos to the deck. Um, that deck actually kind of played pretty well. Okay, we got a pretty good hand. All right, let's see what we're playing against here. See what kind of fire deck it is. You know, Empoleon versus Charizard? Oh, they have Zoark. Okay, interesting. Now, I think I do get Vulpix here. We don't have to technically retreat just yet. We can wait a turn and retreat. We could draw rare candy. And I'm not really being threatened by my opponent's board. I don't think they're going to knock me out. So I'm actually going to pass. And I'm going to hope that they can't KO me. I don't think they can. I don't think they can. I mean, they could, but I don't think so. We have Vulpix to fall back on. Ooh, they're playing Charizard with Zoar. That's an interesting combo. I wonder if that's actually good. I don't know. We do have the type advantage. The, the starter versus the starter. All right. I'll take it, bro. Whatever. <laughs> as long as I get like an actual good match here, then we're chilling. Because the first half of the video is just like the games were kind of short. Oh, they're going to goose with me? Okay. We get the Vulpix right away. Hmm. I don't really want to end them, though, judging from the fact they didn't do anything. I think we have to, though. Yeah. Well, we could Guzma, the Oranguru, and then Beacon. They could get trapped for a turn again. That actually isn't terrible either. Uh, but I, I am going to end. Because even if they get a Charizard down, we have the Empoleon. As long as we can find another Piplup or two, we should be vibing. Um, okay. We got an Ultra Ball. We can get Piplup here. We could also get Remoraid. I actually think we should just get Remoraid. But we can also just Beacon for Vulpix. Or Dedenne or Le Bad or something. Sorry, not Vulpix. We'll get, we'll get Piplup. I want to have two in play. I want to have two Piplups down. We'll save the choice band too. Um, you know, just beacon for uh, Primplup and Robat, I guess. We could end them. They could have a pretty big hand. They could get Zoark. They could start doing trade, battle sense. Um, I think I still am fine with getting Crobat though. We don't even have an end the deck. Yeah, we'll get Crobat and Primplup. Well, we did end them there. Yeah, I think Crobat, Crobat Primplup seems good. Seems good. We got the Empoleon down, which is good. I guess, well, did we, oh, maybe we had the attack there. I think this is fine. I think I'd rather set up anyways than like play aggressive. Um, okay, yeah, I end them into the nuts. Yeah, I think I did have a knockout there, but at the same time, I think I'd rather like set up anyways, you know? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if my opponent kills my Vulpix here. They do need an energy. We'll see how many Leons they get in the discard. They actually do need two Leons to knock out my Empoleon, which is actually kind of nice. I mean, they have a battle compressor, obviously. 
Um, we can try to play around Mindjack too. Mindjack can one shot me with a full bench. I'm pretty sure Mindjack does 160. Um, Battle Sense gets rid of energy. Oh, wow. They have a lot of energy, apparently. Another Charmander. Yeah, we can try to play around their Mind Jack here. I think that's pretty fair. Yeah, pretty good start for my opponent. All right, yeah. Definitely Volpix is a goner here. We'll see. I mean, even if not, doing more beacons is never a bad thing either. The more beacons we get, the better. Like, the more the more penguins we set up, the better. Do they not have the knockout? I think... Did they attach a Zork? I think they did, actually. I mean, they got a full... Or to Charmander. Okay. I guess that works out pretty well. Um, now we're going to knock him out. Like now we're going to try to take a KO. I'm going to save the Choice Band and my other Pokemon just in case they do play the GX. Okay. Uh, we didn't get an energy there, but we do have this. We can go N. N and Prey. You find an energy or a Floatstone? Yeah, we got an energy. Counter energy. Perfect. We can get rid of that. We could appear search for Floatstone, I guess. Save the counter G, but that's fine. We'll just retreat and pull on. <clears throat> and take a knockout total command. We probably could have gotten uh, the what? We could have gotten a Remory there, but we have Lele. I don't know. I probably could have gotten Remory there, to be honest. So there's really no reason not to. But uh, my opponent's on the back foot. Actually, no, I don't want Remory. I can't, right? I can't overbench. I forgot. I can't overbench. I don't want to give the Zark. There's a Drampa. We can one-shot that without really a choice ban, though. But Drampa can get knocked out. So we can actually grab a... Uh, we can Guzma next turn, but well, we need a Pivoter, or we need to draw into... Never mind, yeah. We'd have to draw an Energy here to knock out Drampa. But I guess we can always knock out Drampa later on. There's a Leon. Okay, that will let them KO me if they get the Mind Jack off, which I think they do have. So they actually can KO me with Zorak and Mind Jack, thanks to that Leon. That's a pretty spicy tech. All right, wow. Okay, they actually got me. I mean, not much I could do about that, unfortunately. See, we top deck here. Floatstone. Okay, so we could have went for the Guzma play. Look at that. Uh, put the Floatstone onto the Crobat. I think we just play Lele here. Or Colrus. I think it's in the deck. I'm pretty sure Colrus is in here. Ultra Ball for Empoleon. Do we have Colrus? No, we don't. But I might have the Cynthia. I kind of want to keep my computer search. I think we just grab Cynthia. We could... Yeah, Cynthia. I think that's Cynthia. I want to keep the computer search. Keeping computer search is always a good thing. It's never a bad thing. Okay, there's the energy. Stretcher's good. Uh, we can get another Empoleon in play. Um, which I think is actually worth it. Get that Empoleon down. We are in top deck mode. We have Remorade and Octillery with the level ball, but we just don't have a way to bench it. But we are going to get a prize here on the Empoleon, or the Zork, sorry, with Empoleon. And I don't think they can knock me on return unless they go Welder. They have to Welder. They don't have 5 energy. They need a Welder and a Charizard. There's Chorus right off the prizes. Love to see it. Yeah, love to see it. Okay, Research. Yeah, my opponent didn't have the knockout. We're chilling, we're chilling. Now we're going to be able to take advantage of this lead. So we can go like Knockout Charmander, Knockout Charizard if this evolves, and then Knockout Drampa for game. Okay, there's another Zora. The Zork is definitely a little scary though. They definitely play DCE. They're down seven, eight energy. I wonder how much they play. We can find energy here. Ooh, Empoleon break. Yo, that's actually clutch. Uh, we can put that in play. And actually, now they they can't knock me out with Zoark. If that's what their plan is, now they can't knock out this guy with Zoark. That's actually a pretty clutch Empoleon. There's the uh, Aqua Patch. Beautiful. Get that onto you. We got another rare candy Empoleon off that Chorus because Chorus is insane in a deck like this. Yeah, we could just take a knockout with Empoleon. And because of the uh, Empoleon break, they have to find a Leon and a DC to KO me with Zoark here. So we'll see if they get there. But we're, we're vibing. We're in a pretty good spot right now. I think we're going to win the game. We just have to attack a couple more times and we can walk away with a win. I might actually knock out the Trampa next turn. We have Guzman there. No, we don't. So we can draw Guzman energy here. I am probably going to try to knock out that Trampa. Then we just got to take one more knockout to win the game. Because there could be a point where we might not be able to one-shot Trampa. Especially because now we're losing our choice band, so I think I might play around that. But let's see if my opponent can kill my Empoleon Break here. My boy Empoleon Break, bro? He's putting in the work, bro? I knew the break was going to be useful. Look at how good it is, bro. It's body in the Zoark. Uh, just an energy attachment. Yeah, Seeker. They don't have an end in there, I'm pretty sure. They could get a Guzma. Nope. 
going for that research. Are they attached? They don't have much. They did have the Leon, so they actually could have knocked out my Empoleon here had they been able to attack. They have nine cards left. They might be decking out soon too. Maybe they can't move the Oranguru. Spoke too soon. Well, they had Zoark, I guess, but it's like still one of those things where it's like, you know. So yeah, I think we're gonna computer search for Guzma unless we draw it. No, nope. energy's amazing though. It's gonna computer search here. We're gonna get Guzma. It's in the deck, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, my boy, my boy. We're gonna kale the Drampa. And then we just gotta knock out one Pokemon to win. So we pretty much checkmate my opponent here. Um doesn't matter what Empoleon we bring in. We'll save the Empoleon break. That might be beneficial at some point. Just on the dot. And all right, there's that's game. My opponent scoops. All right, we got a win. All right. Empoleon break did, you know, something, I guess, sort of. <laughs> all right, here we go. Another game with Empoleon and expanded since that first game was kind of uneventful. All right, we do get to go first, which is nice. And all right, we got the double penguin start here. Not terrible. Full versus our draw supporter is not ideal, but we have Ultra Ball though. So we're vibing, bro. The Seeker Ultra Ball saving the day. Oh, we're up against Expanded Eternatus? Yo, that's actually insane, bro. That's actually insane, bro. Because they filled their bench up for us? Yo, I don't think we can ever one-shot them, though. Because if we had Skyfield, maybe. Because it would be a 16. That would have... No, not even a 16. I think we'd only be doing 320. I don't even think Empoleon can ever one-shot Eternatus, even if we played our own Skyfield. Kind of funny, though. Um, yeah, Vulpix, I guess. We'll float stone into it. Put Ultra Ball here for um, Remoraid. I'll just hold the hand. Eh. I'll hold it. Fine. No rush. Don't like want to get rid of anything in my hand. I, I would probably go Ultra Ball, wait, Colrus Ultra Ball, but I think we can wait a turn. You never know what might happen. They've got a draw and a Crobat. All right, that is not, very much not on the Eternatus V. Yeah, there's Marnie. So maybe we should grab our Marie, because I do Marnie me here, but whatever. It's only a Marnie, bro. Don't worry. Expanded gas, bro, right? Yeah, got Colrus back. We got level ball. Might get Primplup. Ooh, they have Weavile. Ooh. What if they play Max Potion? That's actually kind of scary. Max Potion would be terrible for us. If they can Weavile Max Potion and turn this VMAX, we're kind of, even though we're doing a ton of damage a turn, that's actually really bad for us. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not good. Very much not good. See, they fill their bench up. Fulpix will get killed by Dart Venomous Fang, which is a little annoying. But if we can try to set up a turn to Empoleon, we can maybe knock them out in return. So it's all good. Okay, there Marnie gave them a ton of basics, apparently. All right, you love to see it. Two Nest Balls and a Great Ball. Let's we'll see if they have a Crobat. If they have a Crobat or a Research for next turn, bro, their hand was actually nuts. To be fair, they are helping me because I did have Colrus, so I don't mind this one bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna level ball for Remoraid. I don't know. I might get Primplup though too. Um, we'll see. I mean, the game's like, all right, yeah, just take it. I'm like, all right, cool. What kind of I do? I do like spreading the energy out here. I I've always like spreading out the energy with this deck. I think that's like always the good play. Oh, you know what? Empoleon uh, break could be good. Could be okay. Could be okay. Does 30 times their bench. Okay. Hmm. I have a one card hand, so we'll just beacon here for Octillery Piplup. Seems good. Hopefully they don't Marnie me again. It is risky if they do Marnie me, but I think they I mean, they have two card hand, bro. It's like, will they have it? I don't know. Will they have it? We'll see. So let's see if they have an energy to knock me out. If they knock me out, if they fill their bench up and knock me out, we'll just knock them out. And then we can win that way. We can knock out Crobat. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. They knock me out. Oh no, they have hammer. Please don't get heads. Thank you. Here's nurturing. So they can't kill me unless do they have VMAX. Yo, Corbat VMAX one time. Okay, well, never mind. We're not getting knocked out here. But what could have happened is my opponent goes. Like they we didn't fill their bench up. But uh if they did uh, realistically they filled their bench, knocked me out, we could fill our bench, knock them up for 200 or 180. We don't can't do that anymore. Be Empoleon down, bench this, evolve, set the gang up, and I mean I'm pretty content with just chilling. Try to get a knockout actually. Yeah, yeah, we should just take a KO. What am I saying? I ain't content with chilling, bro. We gotta go for the knockout. Alright, cool. For A, we just need an energy and I think a basic. Alright, cool. We got the Empoleon too. Oh no, we can't retreat. 
We already attached for turn. I forgot. My bad. It's all good, though. Yeah, that's my bad. They're in top deck mode. It doesn't really matter, but yeah, I'm an idiot. I forgot we already retreated. I think we just want Piplup and Polion when they knock me out. I could. I was actually going to get Empoleon break, and maybe I should, because if they do Marnie me again, I guess it's one less card. But we have Octillery, so Marnie's not really a problem. Having Mew might never might, might, might not be a bad thing, though, I guess. Psy Power is okay. Maybe against, like... No, they pass. All right, all right. We're vibing, bro. F in the chat for my opponent. Let's get some Fs out for my opponent here, guys. I mean, another game where it's not, like, super exciting, but apparently this deck is just so good that the games have just... Empoleon is just one-siding everything, apparently. It is what it is. See what happens here. We get a quick ball. Looking for an energy. No, Juniper is good, though. Nice, nice prize. We could have went Cynthia there. I'm going to hold the hand, though. I didn't really have a reason to play a supporter. So I was like, I will just hold the hand. We'll hold the hand for one more turn. And then next turn, we'll Cynthia. Um, so I want to save my Chorus. Big Charm. Can't one-shot them. Nice. Got another Empoleon. Sort of. Quick ball, Ultra Ball, I guess. Get the Empoleon. Here we go. Boom. Do we want to play this Field Blower? There's no point because we're not KOing them. That there. Just Cynthia. I'm going to say the Chorus. Because when they get more... I mean, we have a Secret for Chorus, but it still is good if they, like, stop me or something. Just total command. Yeah. There's no point of Field Blowing them. Well, maybe there is. This, well, if uh, here's the thing. If they go VMAX this turn, we can't knock them out unless they fill their bench up. Which I don't think they'll do. Okay, they finally drew something, which is a Marnie. Which is fine. We do lose our hand. We get to protect a rare candy, which is good. What do we get here? I've never seen Polyon break. There's a Via Seeker. Their energy's pretty good, too. Oh, they have Weezing. That's a little bit of an annoying pest. All right, let's see if they get the VMAX here. I think, well, they can I mean, they can, but I don't think it's good because if they get the VMAX. Well, I guess if they go VMAX, we don't one-shot them. Then they're fine. Because if I just knock this out, I just got to knock out Weavile to win the game. Um, which has 200 HP, right? Yeah. Okay, they, well, they had VMAX anyways. Uh, but if they if they overbench here, we're going to be able to just knock out this VMAX. They have 210 HP. If they put any more Pokemon down, we are... Well, never mind. Never mind. Apparently not. Uh, where do we want this break to go? I don't think it really matters. Probably save it for the bench and Polion. There might be a reason we're, like, doing 30 over that is fine. Um, so we aren't getting to KO, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're just short on a knockout by 10 damage. This is where the Mew is kind of cool. How much are- yeah, 10 damage. No. 30. Oh, but what we actually can do- Oh, maybe I should have Chorus, because we can find- if we go Field Blower, we win the game. We can go Field Blower, Knockout, and then everything they bring in- well, no, they can bring in Army on Darkrai. But then we can go Guzma, Field Blower, win the game. Are they gonna KO me with the, uh, Eternus, though? I think it's, they should just, I mean, they should go like, I don't think it matters what they do. Like we're super far ahead. <laughs> don't even one shot me. Rip my opponent and they just scoop. All right. You know what? Let's just move on to legacy expanded. You know what? We'll take it. It's expanded. I got nothing else to say. Okay. Here we go into the legacy format with Empoleon Dustnor. And I think this one is the best of the decks. I mean, the Empoleon Urshifu Sinchino deck was, was okay too. I liked it, but I'm excited to play some expanded Empoleon. Okay, Spirit Tomb and Piplup. I do think we open the Spirit Tomb, because at the very least we can do Hexed Mirror as like another draw option. Um, that's fine. Spirit Tomb's kind of cool too. Victini. Okay, they're playing it. Looks like they're playing a Ray Eels deck, if I had to take a guess, which Ray Eels is very much a good matchup. Any deck using EXs is a great matchup. Outside of maybe Verge End Cell, but even then it's winnable. The only difference is we just don't have the Trouble Beaches. But then we have an N, because I don't like getting rid of these Empoleons. I think we'll go attach the Spirit Tomb and then try to get Pichu or just do Hex Mirror, depending on how good our hand is and how big my opponent's hand is. Because Hex Mirror gives its copycat in the form of an attack. So it's like, I don't want to like, they have like a two card hand. I'm not going to do Hex Mirror. The big thing is we want to find Pichu. I want to find Pichu here. I want to find Pichu. Dustmore is really good in this matchup too. We have to try to step Dustmore. Dustmore is really good in this matchup. Hopefully Mr. Mime's not prized because they play Raikou probably. Chorus. No, so to end them. We have to give him a new hand, but... No, we can go and heck. What am I saying? That works out. All right, well... Oh! Well, got the Pichu anyways. Well, do we have to play Pichu? Yeah, I think it's fine. We have Mime in the deck. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll go Pichu here. We have Twins in our hand, too, so we're chilling. We just go Retreat. Playground. 
They get to fill their bench up, which is totally fine. I'm gonna get Piplup and Mime. And you know, we have a Spirit Tomb in play. You know what? That might come in handy. It's never a bad thing. Like, I'd, I'd rather this be a Piplup. Like, I'd rather the Spirit Tomb be another Piplup. But it's never a bad thing to have a Spirit Tomb in play. You know? Never a bad thing to have a Spirit Tomb in play. Because you never know, right? Let's uh, see if they fill their bench up here. Tynamo, 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 Rayquaza. Yeah. I could have maybe not got Mr. Mime because, like, Raikou. But, like, I just don't want to have Raikou be a problem, right? I'm just not going to... I'm not going to worry about the Raikou. Right? The Raikou can't one-shot. Like, if we get a Dust Snore down, he can't one-shot. It's only doing 100, but... I don't want to have that be a worry for me, you know? I don't want the Raikou to be a worry. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna avoid it. Ooh, they do play Gust, and they do get heads. Probably gonna bring in Duskull, yep, I'm right, okay. They do have a KO, I think, too, with V-Create. I guess I did power up V-Create, but that's never a bad thing. What? They have the nuts, bro. That's a big chorus. I don't like Pichu being in play now, too, because it's a useless card. I was a lucky catcher head. You hate to see it. Not the end of the world, though. Not come out with Empoleon. You can always fall back on playground. Like, we could maybe stay asleep on the right turn, wake up on our turn, and then attack. Theoretically, that could be good. We might need to buy some time here. Good thing we have twins in our hand. Um. Yeah, the, the catcher head is definitely annoying. Definitely annoying. Losing Duskull is not good, because it's like one of the Dustmores is super important here. Wish we had more uh, Piplups in play. This is why maybe I don't want to go Empoleon. We'll see, though. Because, again, we can fall back on Playground. And just get, like, another Pokemon down. We could bench Smeargle, too. They have a massive hand. Energy's good draw. Okay, now we can go Twins for Empoleon Execute. We can just, like, do this. They'll switch in the deck, too. Let's do Diving Draw first. What do we get? Junk arm. What do we get with junk arm? Level ball for another Piplup. Do we ever knock him out here though? I mean, I guess. We'll get rid of the Smeargle. Well, no, the problem with this is now we don't have a supporter for next turn. Maybe we should just do playground then. But they could get a catcher heads. Yeah, maybe we just do playground, to be honest. Get a Polion. Well, we could get Duskull. We could go Duskull Hexed Mirror, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's actually probably better. We give up another prize, though. It's the only problem. I don't know if this is actually the right play, to be honest. We already lose another prize, but... I mean, we can match their hand. They have a huge hand. Okay, there's Rare Candy for Dusknor. We didn't get an energy, though. Yeah, hopefully it's the right play. The worst thing that could happen is they get another Catcher Heads and they knock out Duskull again or Empoleon with Rayquaza. This does feel bad, though, because we are losing another prize. Maybe we should have just went Playground, but I, we needed a supporter, and, like, I don't want to risk my opponent gusting the Empoleon. This is our only draw, and, like, John Two cards are not really that good anyways. You know? We'll see if this pays off. We definitely have to attack next turn. <laughs> oh, we can win this. We can win this. We just have to attack every turn. Okay, they do have an end. That's unfortunate. We do lose our Dust Snore. We would have went Rare Candy Dust Snore, quick level ball for Peeplip, and then we would have went yeah, off. Mm, I got Primplup back. We did find a Super Rod, which we could play to put back Dust Gall. I don't think I will. If you create nothing else, that's cool. Let's see, we draw here. No Rare Candy. Okay, well, we can still go Diving Draw. Mm. Might ditch the Skyro Bridge. I don't really want my opponent to have a free Skyro Bridge. I think I'm going to get rid of the Skyro Bridge. I don't think I ever want them to have a bridge. And they don't play any stadiums that I think matters, so. Okay. We did get the Dust Snore, which we are going to put in play, I think. Probably get rid of Primplup. Sorry, buddy. We do need to find another Empoleon, though, ASAP. Could Super Rod here... I don't think I want any of those things back. Well, we could go... I'd rather Super Rod Empoleon. Yeah, let's just, let's just soak. I don't, plus, I don't want to put my deck too clunky. Bro, what? Got no Empoleons off of that? Or Primplups? Or Piplups, whatever? That's unfortunate. Yeah, that was a pretty bad oak there. We got no Piplups or no Empoleon. That's annoying. 
Got a junk arm for next turn, though. We can go junk arm for level ball. All right, it's fine. We can still win this. We just have to attack every turn. We'll attack every turn. We still have like a late game end, which could be our saving grace. I think we still have an end in the deck. We'll see. We have our tool scrapper too, right? Yeah, it's still in there. We can still win this. This is definitely not a good spot to be in though. Not a good spot. Maybe we should have attacked in that one turn. I don't know. If like, I don't know. Maybe if we don't have a twins. We still want to be in top deck mode, you know? Rayquaza is going to get two prizes before it goes down. I have another chorus. So we have to, we have to, we have to hit them with a late, we have to hit them with a late game and, and then remove their tool off the Keldeo to maybe win this. I actually don't know if we can win. I feel like, honestly, I think we're a little too far behind. To be honest, we might be a little too far behind here. Yeah, we'll see. I think, I think we might be too far behind to win this. See what happens. I think we actually want to get an Empoleon and play with this uh, junk arm. Yeah, I think we're we're in trouble for sure. The fact they can loop the Rayquaza every turn, we can't survive a hit. Okay, that was a good top deck. We can go back. Piplup, Poliana. I'm gonna get a Water Energy back while I'm at it. We still have three waters left. Maybe we didn't need a Water Energy actually. Okay, now we can go Empoleon, Piplup here. I want to see if I have an end in the deck. Do we? We do. Okay, good. Yeah, we need to save that end. The end is going to be very clutch. I'm just going to Juniper. Don't want to have Jirachi in play because it can be knocked out and then I'm in trouble. So we level ball for another Piplup. Try to get two Piplups down if I can. I'll have to end them next turn. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. Good hand, good hand. No end, though. Still have Diving Draw, right? Yeah, insane, bro. We still have the Diving Draw. We actually could get rid of the Tropical Beach. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need that anymore. Yeah, let's get rid of the Beach. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to put that in play. No end. Okay. We have Double Empoleon, though, so that's pretty good. Hit them for 130. Or 110. Hit them for 110. We can knock out an Eel next turn, I guess. Hmm. If we did 10 more damage, what could happen is if they bench a Tynamo here, we could knock out Electric and Tynamo. That would actually be really good. And then they can't fall with a KO. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Hey, let's go, Double Tails. Do we have a Bangle in there? I don't think we did. No, we didn't. What? They had three dual balls? I mean, we got lucky, though. They got all those Tails. Yeah, another Rayquaza. We have to remove their tool off the Keldeo and end them in the same turn. I don't even know if Scrapper's in the deck. I don't know. Well, we could just knock out a we could knock out an eel at this point. We can kill an eel, and then they can't one-shot Napoleon right back. So I actually think that might be the play here is to knock out one of the eels. With uh Dust Nord. The only problem is they still have catcher. They haven't even played a junk arm yet. I'm really hoping my Dust Nord doesn't get bodied. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I think our our path to victory might be take out their eels. Without the eels, they can't build up. Well, no, they could still attach. No, even that one where they could still attach the Rayquaza. Hmm. I don't know. It's never, it's never a bad thing, though, to kill the eels. We still have to do that end tool scrapper play to make a comeback. That's going to be how we make a big comeback, end and tool scrapper. Well, we could go end to two, knock out an eel. That could be a decent play too. But that's my last end. Like, I don't know. Maybe instead of going spirit tomb that turn, I maybe should just attack them. That might have been the better play. Let's see what happens. I hope we have tool scrapper in the deck. I don't remember seeing it. I know we have the end, but I don't remember seeing the tool scrapper, which might be a bit of an issue. Nice double float. So now the tool scrapper really gets to stick. Okay, they had a juniper. That's why. Ooh, good thing they didn't end me. Well, I guess they didn't want to because they don't want to give themselves a small hand, but we have double Empoleon. We have, like, an insane hand. Okay, I'm trying to think. Is it really right to KO an eel? They can always reattach. They are down. 
How many energy are they down? I don't... They're just down three lightning. That's not a whole lot of lightning to be down. So I don't know if it's actually right to kill Neil. We also use a rod this turn. Might have the junk arm for a rod. You can get back more pip ups. We'll do dive we'll do diving draw first. We go to the silver mirror. Yeah, there's the N. We got the N at least. I don't know if Rapper's in the deck. We'll see though. Bangle? We can go. We can go N K O and Eel here. We could all we could or what we could do is how much are we doing? We can do 150 damage, so we can leave 20 damage on this. We can KO an eel and a Rayquaza. That is a play. We can KO an eel and a Rayquaza here. Let's see what we got in the deck. Yeah, we priced our scrapper. So we can still, we can go and maybe we get scrapper of the prizes. Oh no, we can't kill an eel in every place because then we take the eel off the board. We don't have the scrapper either. I think we're just going to lose this. We don't have tool scrapper in the deck. If we had scrapper, we'd have a chance to win this. Yeah, there's no Scrapper. I don't think we're winning this, actually. I think it's just game over. We just got unlucky. They just... They got too many prizes. I think, uh... I don't think we... I don't think we're winning. It's not even really anything I really care for. I guess we can put back Spear Tomb. So they can't... Play a A spec. They haven't played one yet. We already have two Empoleons. It's our last two attackers, so... Might as well just be energy, energy, spirit tomb, to be honest. It doesn't matter what we put back. We can knock him out, find Scrapper, end a one. We can't kill the eel, though, so that doesn't matter. It has to be an N. I think it's N now. We didn't find spirit tomb. Unfortunate. We're doing 130 damage here. Um, hundred. No, we're doing one hundred and forty. Let's just move that damage. Like, I don't know. End to two KO eel is never. Or, yeah, end to two KO eel and just hit the Rayquaza is not a bad idea. But the chances they have a light energy here are super high, and I don't want to risk it. You know, I don't want to risk them having the energy. I don't think it's worth it. I think we just manipulate the damage with Dustmore. We did 140 damage. Right? 140. We just leave him with 30 HP. So we have 80 damage. We're 10 damage short of being able to kill an eel. This is unfortunate. Um, they KO me with attack command. I don't know. We could. Maybe we do KO an eel. A KO eel end a 2. KO eel end a 1 would have been better. I kind of feel like maybe KO and the Eel might be the play. They are down a lot of... Well, they're only down one Juniper. They are down two N and two cores, though. We kill, we can kill both Rayquaza next turn. Okay, let's just, let's just take the Knockout. I think I think I have an idea. We take the Knockout. We knock out their next Rayquaza. Their Scrapper. That's huge. Junk Arm. Not good. I, maybe, I think actually saving the end was the correct play there. Because we knock out Rayquaza... End of one, knock out Rayquaza. Yeah, that might have been the better play, to be honest. I Maybe we shouldn't have knocked out. We should have ended them, maybe, because we want to end them next turn. If we can knock out this Rayquaza and then end them to one, and they might be able to take out my last Empoleon. They still have Raikou, though, and I think Raikou can hit the active. If they don't have any of they don't have a supporter here, I think we might be able to win this. 10 damage short, though, on the eel really sucks, though. <laughs> Yeah, no chance. This is why I didn't knock out the eel, because they drew a Juniper off that. End of two into a Juniper. No chance. If they just get another Rayquaza down, it's game over. We have no way to shut their hands, so... Unless somehow they don't find their last Rayquaza, we might have a chance of winning. 
That's our only way to win, is they have to not have a Rayquaza here. I should have saved the end. If I saved the end, I think we could have won, unless they get a Rayquaza down. If we were doing Tamar damage too, we had a KO on Eel. Well, unless they don't grab a Rayquaza, we might be okay. They might not grab Rayquaza here. Still an end left too, rip. Yeah, it's unfortunate we just 10 damage short on the Eel KO. Yeah, it's game over. Well, oh, hold on. No, they still have to find fire energy. Right, they still have to find fire. They're down four fires. Actually, they might be out of energy altogether for fires. They might be out of fire energy. Yeah, if only I save my end to one, though. Most Ray Eels less only play four fires. So I actually am... A, actually, they don't even play four fires. They play three fires. Um... They should be out of energy here to attack with their quick. They still have Raikou, though, so, I mean, it's not really going to work, but... They might not have their last energy. I mean, they've played a Super Rod, I think, too, right? Yeah, so, I don't know. Maybe we can still win this? I don't think they have five. Playing five fire is not very needed in Rayquaza. It's, you don't need to play five fires. That's a little overkill. It's really overkill. Four is already overkill enough. You can get away with three. So, I actually think they can't finish the game off here. We might... Okay, hold on. We might actually have a chance to win this. We have to knock them out, though. What do we draw? Ultra Ball. Okay. We can't play Chorus, but we can Diving Draw. Catch do Diving Draw first. I think I am going to be rotting this turn. Diving Draw. Oh, we didn't get the Spirit Turn? Well, we have Oak, I guess. Okay, first thing first, I'm going to play the Scrapper. Get rid of the Float Stones. I guess that doesn't matter now because they have three in play. Four floats. I'm playing Junk Arm. We Ultra Ball again for... Ultra Ball for the Spear Tomb. Now they can't play their A spec, so if they have a computer search, they can't play it. Do I want a Junk Arm for a Piplup? How much are we doing? 110, they have 120 HP. We have to put 10 more damage. It's all 20 extra damage in play. We could just get Silver Bangle, actually. I think I actually just want Silver Bangle. Bangle to do more damage. Conserve the damage. But we might be one Pokemon short. Maybe we didn't need to get the energy. Maybe we should have grabbed, actually, the whole time. There was another more basics back. I might have, I might have screwed that up. We're doing 140 right now. As long as the bangle stays on, we should be okay. One forty. Yep. We can put one damage count on all the Pokemon in case they play Max Potion. I've played against somebody playing Max Potion the Rails list. I'm not taking no chances. I'm not taking any chances. So, the only way they could win is if they find a Raikou, or if they somehow have a fifth fire energy, which I don't think they do. Yep, if they have a fifth fire energy, we lose. If not, I think we can win. There's Piplup, there's another basic. Oh, candy. They could have a Zekrom. We'll see. Let's see what they have. As long as they can't kill me this turn, we're probably winning. Oh, they have a scrapper. No, they have two scrappers. Rip my bangle. Uh, I wrote a junk arm rip, so we can't get bangle back. That's big sad. Especially from the scrapper, though, they probably don't have game then. So now they're dying mode of the Rayquaza. They have to commit to the Rayquaza, but again, I don't think they have five fires. Ray Eels doesn't play five fires. You do not need five fire. If they actually play five fire, I'm done. I'm actually done if they play five fire. Oh, they bench the Tynamo. Yeah, they don't win this turn. We have game. We just go Duff Snort of the Tynamo. Like, oh, uh, there's a chorus. They just did not miss their supporters. Our ends did nothing. They have three freaking cores. Oh my god. Please don't tell me they play five fire energies, bro. No chance. They might play an energy retrieval. God. 
Like, if they do play a Junk Arm, they can't Junk Arm for Rod now and get the energy because they already play their Supporter. Okay, so they can catch her, my Dust Norm. But we have game anyways. Unless they have, like... Nah, nah, there's no way they can win. I can't think of any other... I guess they could, like... We could still use our ability if we're paralyzed. That's what they're going for, okay. Witch and Floatstone are both gone. Oh no, Switch is, is Switch our last prize? Or it might, maybe it's in the deck actually. Switch might be in the deck, I can't remember. Okay, please do not play Five Fighter. <laughs> Man, this is a close game. Okay, I think we've done it. Oh, you know what they could have done? They could have went Keldeo Catcher Heads on my Pichu. They actually had a game if they did that the whole time. What a game. What a game. What a comeback. Oh, GG's. Yeah, that was a pretty damn close game. We actually were going to lose the game, actually, because they trapped me. If they didn't match Tynamo, we would not have won the game. But yeah, there we go. Jeez, bro, what a game. That was super close. Switch was in the deck. Okay, Switch. Okay, so we would have had him no matter what. We had Switch in the deck. That'll wrap up the video, guys, on the Empoleon all three formats. That was a very good game. That game was so much better than those two games I got. Well, the two formats before, but yeah, and that's why I'm playing Dustin or such a good deck. Look at that comeback we made. I definitely should have sequenced the end a little bit better. Um, for sure, for sure. But that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Dustin or Empoleon uh, game there. And that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Empoleon all three formats. If you guys enjoyed the video, slap a like on the video to show your support on this series. The series does take a bit of time to make, um, not gonna lie. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out Karkai down below. Use code LDF to get any codes. Comment down below what my next Pokemon should be, and uh, I will. Choose one, and of course, your comments will be shown in the video um, and all that good stuff. But thanks for watching, guys. Check out the socials down below, and I'll see you guys later.